What is up guys and welcome back to another video. This is the seventh episode of Max Set From Scratch. Now, if you don't know what this is, I started a series back in January on a level three account where the end goal was to PK on like a max main with full ancestral and an arcane in a max set like that. Now I have only made like six uploads in the past couple months on it because I've been busy with other stuff and I just haven't really been motivated to play the game. But I'm back now and I've actually still been playing the account in my spare time and I've made a lot of progress. In the last video, we were looking to get 85 mage and we just bought the first uh, uh, first items of our baby pure max set. In this video, we've gotten ourselves 85 mage through Alking. We got our prayer to up to 45 using the wilderness altar. And then the next thing to do was go train up a little bit because our account was mage based and we needed to get our melee up a little bit more if we we're gonna go uh, hit with our strength. So I decided to invest in a granite hammer and get my strength from 60 to at least 70. Our account would still be mage based but when we went and PK'd, our Gmall would actually hit some more. If you guys have missed any videos in the series or you don't even know what it is because you're new to the channel, I've linked the playlist in the description and you can check it out. Anyway, let's get back to it. So just a little bit of an update on the progress. We did get ourselves 70 strength for 71 range and 85 magic. We're still 50 strength. Right now, we're going to go PKing for the first time in all this gear. So the first thing we're going to do is sell all this stuff we're using in training, like the granite hammer, and just get a little, beat, a little bit of GP back that we can use to go PK with. Okay, we have ourselves 3.5 mil to go buy ourselves some PK supplies. We basically have nothing but the gear, so we're going to have to kid ourselves out a little bit. Okay, we've spent a lot of money on runes to PK with god spells and TBs and entangles, so our cash check is now down to 2.7 mil. Now it's time to buy ourselves some supplies. All right, this is what we're left with, a 1.3 mil cash stack and a lot of supplies. We're gonna go PKing right now and hopefully it's gonna go well and we can make some money. We're gonna try and stick to world 18 and try and hunt some targets to get uh, tier 10s and hopefully run to other people and make some very nice loot off of it. So let's go try it out and see how it goes. Let's catch a freeze on him. Wait, we need to chuck a TB at him too so he doesn't teleport. This should be a free upgrade hopefully. Just going for the Gmall. Is it? Yep, that's a free upgrade. That's a tier two just like that. And we might get an emblem off of him as well. No emblem, but we're at a tier two. We can go get spec and go right ahead and do it again. It's a free upgrade just like that. Is curious as to how much we're risking right now. It's 2.3 mil, which is the majority of our bank. Okay, we got ourselves another target. Let's catch a TB on him. There we go. Come on, Flames of Zami. I believe in you. Let's go for the Gmall here. Dead? Please? Oh my god, that's another kill just like that. He just drops the LOL. Got ourselves an emblem as well, a another tier 2. We're on our tier 3 ourselves and we can pick up all this loot in our looting bag. This is some good money if you just get the right hits and are smart about it. GG, dude. Okay, fellas, so we have ourselves a tier 3, a tier 2, and 93k. Can we, catch a can we just TB this guy real quick? There should be another free upgrade, honestly. He's got like an MSB and no items. He's got, what's that? That's black D eyed chaps. Come PKing? What? Is it, is it, has he just invited me on a PK trip? What a nice guy. I was going for the Gmall, 1722. And that is us onto a tier four. He calls me a dick. He had some loot on him as well. Let's pick that all up. We're upgrading these tiers really quickly. We've been PKing for like less than 20 minutes. We're already on a tier four and we have a tier two in the bank. We're not really getting emblems from these guys though. I don't know why. Either way, GG. Okay, 45k in the loony back and a tier 4. Can we catch an entangle? Another looter. So if he doesn't have a telly, should be a free, uh, what's it called? Upgrade here. He just throws in the oops. What the hell? Let's just drag a nice spec him out, I think would be the best to get this kill. And we've gotten ourselves another upgrade just like that. We're already on a tier 5. This guy just drops the oops. I wonder if he's looted anything. Oh, and we got an emblem off of him as well. That's another 200k. This is literally easy money. That guy's trying to go for me. But uh, I've just made myself another 200k just off that emblem. And I've got a tier 5 as well. I need like 5 more upgrades. Can we catch a freeze? And a TB. There we go. I think these guys are boosting emblems or something. He's telling them to telly. I should go for the G Mall. Are they boosting emblems? He's dead. And that is a tier 6. What's going on here? I have no idea. But I've just got myself another 200k. And I'm on a tier 6 now. That's another room pouch if I really wanted it. But obviously I'm going for the tier 10. And it's another 200k. Can I have his robes? He didn't have any robes. I have no idea what's going on here. But yeah, we're on a tier 6 and another 200k. Can we catch a freeze on him? There we go. Let's catch this entangle. This could be risky. We don't know. This guy's gonna mud battle stuff. Does he have overheads? I don't think so. If he doesn't have overheads, this is gonna be an easy fight. 
but if he does, it doesn't look like he has it, but he's still out DPSing me somehow. It's a little bit scary if I do say so myself. Just going for another bolt. Going for this. I'm just going to pray Mela here. Come on, let's catch the freeze. There we go. Okay, can't really... Okay, he's got a Ballista. I honestly don't think he has overheads. So I should destroy him. Let's just keep brewing up here while we're not the same distance as him. There we go. Going for a bolt. 25 in for the GMOL. Oh, he's dead. Good fight. Let's see if he had Protect Item. Maybe I got a Ballista PK. Uh, no Ballista, but a Mud Battle stuff. A lot of loot. I don't think this guy can hit me. He's level 81. That's a lot of loot right there off this guy. GG, dude. Let's pick that all up. This guy was PKing at like... What is this place? Black Demons. Can a level 75 hit me? Nah, he can't. He looks like the same account build as that. Or the same gear setup. So it's probably the same guy who I just killed. GG, dude. Okay, so now we're on a tier 7. Another PK are down. And this guy had a lot of loot on him. 300k plus another emblem. So that's a 500k PK right there. Plus we're on a tier 7. Now, whenever people ask me how to get into no honor breeding and stuff like that, I always tell them the first account build they should make is a god spell PK like this one and to go try it out. Now, the reason for this is, is obviously if you're not doing a max set series, your risk will be extremely low. You can keep going and keep doing it if you're dying and it will... You know, I'll help you practice because you're not risking mills at a time. You can just keep going and try and do fights like that. You will also run into a lot of noobs, so that can help you get your switches down if you've never really like done any PKing before. You can work on your prayers and click into your spells before you have to worry about r losing all your money and dying to a proper PKer. And it's honestly just a lot more simpler learning like this. So I would definitely recommend using a baby peer like this to learn no honor PKing if you're looking to get into it. Okay, this guy just chucked a TB at me. What he doesn't know is I have overheads. Let's just pray melee here. Throw a TB. There we go. Can we catch an entangle on him? Please tell me we can. Nice. Let's just drink our brews up now and just go for the bolt on him. There we are. Let's charge up. Going with a flame. Zero. Going for a bolt. Pray mage here. These hits are quite terrible. Just going for a refreeze here, nice. Going for a bolt, pray melee there. Just gotta be careful. There we are. We should outlast him if he doesn't have prayer. Should be pretty easy. Just go for another bolt there. Pray mage. Let's just pray mage there, catch a freeze. Oh, we splashed. There we are, nice. Going for another bolt. Just need to hug him again. There we go. Go for another bolt. Go for a flames and for the G Mall. Dead? Please, 22 25. He's dead. Good fight. This guy's gonna try and PJ us, so we just need to pick it up and get out of here. Good fight, man. GG. Alright, let's just log out now. That's a very nice kill. He probably didn't have a whole lot of runes anyway. Uh, we picked up the majority of the loot, so we got 77k in the looting bag, 200k from the emblem, and obviously we're on a tier 8 now. So 270k loot and a tier 8. Catch an entangle, there we go. Let's go for the TB. Nice. Let's go for our flames here. Not big enough. Only a one. Really aren't big enough flames. I don't know what this guy's mage level is, but he's got some sick mage defense. If I don't get catch an entangle in a second, just pray melee here to do it. He's trying to hug me around the tree so he can like one tick a G Mall when he needs to. Which is fairly smart, I guess. 19? Going for another one. 13. Just going for the Gmall here. Dead. 25 19 for the KO. And we are on to a tier 9. Did not get an emblem off of him. But we're on to a tier 9. We're just one more now for a tier 10, and we'll be on a uh, 2 mil. Uh, made just alone from the emblem. Okay, obviously, we didn't get an emblem or anything off of him. He's unsculled, risking like 36k, but we're on a tier 9 now. So just one more upgrade, and we can sell it for 2 mil. That's all oh, we got a bot for our tier 10. We just need to catch this TB and this should be the freest tier 10 of our life. We got a green dragon bot. Yes, we have just made two mil fellas off a of green dragon bot. We're going to pick up his bones as well because that should be some pretty decent loot too. Do these guys even try tanking? I don't know why I have a tier. Wait, will it use that? Please don't upgrade my tier one. I don't know why I have it in my inventory. If this upgrades to a tier two, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to be angry. This better go to a tier 10. Please go to a tier 10. Tell me it is. 
Okay, thank God. Oh, and I got another emblem off him as well. I was so scared that I was going to go to a tier 2. I don't know how it works, but we're on a tier 10, and we've just made ourselves our first 2 mil. Okay, so we started this episode with about 3 mil, and we dumped 2 mil of it into PKing. Since then, we have just got that 2 mil back straight from a tier 10. If you're wondering how uh, I convert this into 2 mil, there's a CC called BH and Chill, which is run by a Twitch streamer. And you can just find a rank in there to middleman, and you can sell a tier 7 for 1 mil or a tier 10 for 2 mil to anyone who needs room pouches and stuff like that. Anyway, so we've got a 3.1 mil there. We PK'd ourselves six emblems, which is another mil. And then we've got all of this as well. So we have made a lot of money in this episode just from that starting three mil. That's 4.5 mil now. And we also have a tier two that we can use to convert. We have more than enough supplies to go PK again. And this will be a good starting cash method to make us some money. I My first upgrade that I wanted to get was a dragon crossbow. And I think I'll be able to afford that right now. Okay, our tier 10 has been converted into 2 mil cash, so our cash deck's now at 3.2 mil. Now we're just going to sell everything else that we PK'd that we don't need for our PK supply tab. Okay, and that puts our cash deck to just over 4.6 mil, which means we should be able to buy the Dragon Crossbow if it's not too high in price. Yes, we can. That's the first upgrade. Basically, like, 3.5 mil made in our first episode PKing to get us that Dragon Crossbow. We're going to sell these bolts, use the rest of our cash to get the new bolts. And this should be very helpful for our next video when we go PKing. If you guys have enjoyed this return to the Max Set from Scratch series and you're looking forward to seeing me complete it, please let me know. Leave me some support because I know it has been a while since the last episode. Chilly, please just leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe if you are new. And that will let me know that you guys want to see more of these. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.